Namaskar, Maria. Namaskar. Namaskar. Uh, my question is that here in the U.S., we are seeing mandates on many levels restricting the attending of public places, uh, workplaces, and schools with uh, people that have not been uh, had the jab or didn't have the shot. Yes. Um, we are seeing more and more where we are in an atmosphere of polarization of beliefs creating divisions of families and friends. And many are concerned here and possibly globally uh, that the more and more a totalitarian atmosphere happening in this country and globally. So my question is how does one surrender to soul and yet stand up for one's freedoms of choice to choose what happens to one's body and one's own health and that would be my question while you were asking this question i had this image of you know a really totalitarian society where which is certainly much more totalitarian than the american society where people are not even allowed to follow their spiritual path where if they are caught meditating they would be you know put behind bars or if they were caught doing things or practices which are not which are which are strange quote unquote uh, they would be put behind bars we we've had that in europe also in the during the inquisitions and and that entire period so we need to also first be aware of the fact that we do live in massively free societies compared to what humankind has had to endure in the past and 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 also currently in many areas of this planet it's important to first see what we have that we do have a society which at least allows a polarization Uh, whereas there are those societies which don't even allow that where it's just only one direction and having said that i feel that as a spiritual seeker as a practitioner of transformational work on yourself if you do live in a society where you're not given a choice where you're told that you have to do something or else then it's a very clear choice it's either you do it or else i don't feel that in the first line it's a matter of battling what's happening outside i'm not uh, against activism i'm talking about spiritual activism here what is the spiritual activism that we can we can undertake if you have a situation where you can go into a, a cinema hall only if you have the vaccination then that is what your society dictates to you the larger number of people in that society are dictating that the government is dictating that for its own reasons there may be all kinds of reasons why it's doing that uh, we don't need to go into figuring out who is all behind it because i think anyone with any minimal level of intelligence is able to see that the 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 fact of the matter is that when you are faced with a situation you have to make a choice and first you make that choice with clarity either you take the jab and then you go with it or you don't take it and then you go with that so it's a choice you make and then you step forward if you want to battle it you're living in a democratic country you can only do that by voting for somebody else who most probably is going to do the same thing because it is all propelled by greed so for the spiritual seeker the way is to go inward and to be in communion with the soul the source
and to live in that state while choosing based on the impulse of that soul and you know John, you've been to an immersive, you've seen, uh, you've come to satsangs, you know exactly that it is possible to go into practices that actually show you how to make your way to that soul, how to listen to its impulse and to act from that impulse. In other words, if that impulse is impulsing you to go into the streets and and hold up signs against uh, the pharmaceuticals, then that's what you do. If that impulse is impulsing you to go and take the jab, then that's what you do. If that impulse is impulsing you not to take the jab and to to live out on the on the prairie, then that's what you do. From a very practical point of view, if you are faced with a society that you're unhappy with, you can't go out and and kill everybody. You can't go out and 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 destroy property, it's not going to bring anything. So what brings something is always going inward and finding out what is impulsing you. That is what will will bring peace into the system because you're acting from the Truth. It's the only way to deal with these circumstances, is to go into a quiet centre and listen. Is this the voice of the Truth impulsing me to do something, or is it the voice of the Ego, the loud, clamouring, demanding, insisting voice of the Ego that's making me angry and I have to go and fight? But it can also be that the Truth makes you go and fight. Both things are possible, it's only where is it coming from that counts. And that is a training, it's a continuous training of surrender, and surrender, and more surrender, and more surrender, and more surrender, and deeper, and deeper, and deeper, inward, 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 inward. And that doesn't make you a weakling. It does not make you a weakling. Surrender is not the laying down of weapons. It's the picking up of those weapons and standing against the ego with those weapons. So what that does is, that just makes you that, that strong, that you just know then what to do. And it will be the right thing, you know. All it takes is a few minutes of quieting yourself down and going into that state and saying, OK, what is the right thing for me to do now? And then to just do it, you know. That is how one changes society, the attempts to change society top-down can never work, they just don't work. We've seen that with Communism, we've seen that with the Socialist adventures, we've seen that with any system that tries to impose itself top-down. It can only go from bottom-up. And change and transformation comes when you transform yourself. It's a very, very concrete and practical approach. It's spiritual and it's practical, both. So you just have to stand straight, centre yourself, find out, jab yes, jab no, and just go for it if it's a yes, and stay away from it if it's a no. And if it's a no, you face the consequences of it being a no. And if it's a yes, you face the consequences of it being a yes. And America is certainly as free a society as any society can hope to be. Greed, human greed will will always 
dominate societies, John. It is only when we, individual for individual for individual, one after another, transform and change something within yourself. Because if you change this within yourself, you won't be impacted so much by what is happening around. And you'll be able to impact what is happening around. Because one strong man from deep down in inner strength can spread a solidity of peace, which no amount of top-down effort can create, you know? And peace doesn't mean that you're there, you know, with a, with a rosary in your hand, blessing everyone. Solid peace can sometimes also mean the sword, you know, and fire and brimstone.